Bernie Sanders in the primary. Mm -hmm. But if I tell you that Joe Biden is also a goofy, white-haired old guy, are you just as motivated? Um, I think definitely, you know, as a supporter of uh, Medicare for All, it definitely won me over when he told me that if it passed the House and the Senate, he would veto it. You know, I think that's a great way to reach out uh, to progressives. Um, I think it's a great way to reach out to progressives when he tells millennials that, you know, give me a break. Your life hasn't been hard, even though we experienced things that this generation never had to. Um, so I think, you know, he's definitely reaching a handout to us by completely denying everything that we want and then telling us to shut up and vote for him. Otherwise, we ain't black. OK, and I do hear you and your concerns. But on the other hand, please, you have to support Biden. If you don't support Biden, we will literally kill ourselves. So now I ask you <laughs> what I ask all of my exes. Do you want that on your hand? Now, Justin, to piggyback here on behalf of Team Virtue Signal, if you vote for Joe Biden, you can do whatever you want to Brian. You can use me as a toilet. Wow, these are all really enticing things, but you know, just maybe Medicare for all, a Green New Deal. Think realistic. We'll start with Brian as a toilet. Now, we do have to talk, Justin, about yesterday's primaries. My literal boss bitch hooped earring Latina queen, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, won her primary, and there was some total bummer mass voter disenfranchisement in Kentucky. Ugh, mm -hmm. sad face status 100. But did you see who is replacing Mark Meadows in North Carolina? The candidate Trump endorsed Linda Bennett got rocked by 24-year-old Madison Cawthorn. He's young, he's a new voice, a little bit handsome, which is why he is our fresh-faced, dangerously unresearched, and yeah, I guess I can see how he's a little handsome Trump slayer that as our wigs flying so far, they're going to earn major frequent flyer miles of the week. I'm sure this ad that he deleted from his Twitter account last night, minutes after he won, but we still found online, shows him standing up to Trump. Marvin Ramirez Torres here oh, in the no. U.S. illegally from El Salvador was arrested and convicted here in Buncombe County for molesting a child. He should have been deported, right? That didn't happen. The Buncombe County Sheriff's Office refused to honor an ICE detainer and instead released Torres from custody. They put a dangerous criminal back on our streets. That's why President Trump I, is cracking down. Yeah. Oh, God. Do we need to watch the whole thing or what's happening? When I started my deep dive into Madison a few minutes ago, live on my show, I had no idea that this is what he was like. Due to this troubling development, Madison, if you do not prove yourself to be a fresh faced renegade who issues the occasional lukewarm public statement against Trump, your full cancellation will take effect at zero hour Sunday Eastern daylight time. What's gonna yeah, happen? Wait, I'm scared. Don't worry, it won't get that close. Personally, I feel hashtag blessed that you are on the show today, Justin, because my favorite movie of all time happens to be about football and friendship. Okay. It's called The Blind Side. Oh. And I have stood outside high school football practices asking players repeatedly if they want to go pants shopping with mama. And all I've gotten in return is a literal mountain of restraining orders and police warning. Justin, how can a white woman like me be an ally like Sandra Bullock if not adopting every player they see? I think having a white savior complex I is probably not the way to go about allyship. I think you should probably just use your voice and use the privilege that you have to actually advocate for real change in people of color's lives, especially black people. It's good advice, but it sounds hard and I kind of like my thing better and people always say I remind them of Sandra Bullock.